going on guys? It's Smart Vizier back at again with another video and uh I was I've got like a trashed bicycle. It's like a mountain bike. Um with like V brakes and stuff. It was like from Walmart. It's it doesn't work anymore because the hub's broken and it costs more to fix it than the bike is worth. Then then we bought then we paid for it new actually. So I was thinking maybe we could use uh, one of the cables from it for a throttle cable. And I just uh, measure with a tape measure and it needs to be fifty inches long. So Ugh. I'm gonna go look at that bike and see if any of the cables are that long. I will update you when I finish with that. All right, so the line from the the rear shifter all the way back to the rear derailleur is around um, 50 inches long. So that is going to be the move. I'm gonna be gonna be uh, removing that line and, and seeing if it's long enough. Be right back. All right, guys. Here's our cord. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's it's pretty long. Um, there's the end with the uh, the thing on it for the, th the throttle and the carburetor. Uh, that ends all. Sp sp uh, sp I don't remember the word. Um, so that's just gonna get pinched by a bolt in the uh, gas pedal. Um, some people may ask in the comments, "How did you get the?" Uh, the grip off and get it disassembled. And I got it off pretty normally with a screwdriver and a couple of Allen keys. And then I was trying to get it apart. I'd already taken out all the bolts that would, you know, come apart. And after I'd taken all of those bolts and I spent about 10 minutes trying to get it apart and it wouldn't come apart, um, I, I took a big hammer and I just whacked the heck out of the thing until it broke apart and I could pull the, uh, pull the cable out. When the bike is already trashed um, and like completely ruined, it's not like I'm gonna break it more. So I don't really have a problem doing something like beating up the uh, the uh, shifter with a hammer. Also, for those of you who are asking why it's uh, why it's uh, in the garbage bin, that's why. You can see the sprocket is turning, but the wheel is not. Sometimes you can get lucky and the wheel will turn a little bit, but for the most part, it's just it's just totally ruined. Um, I'll be right back once I get this over to the go kart. All right, so we're back at the go kart with the uh, with the cable. Um, it's supposed to run under the seat and then get tied into the gas pedal. So I'll be back in just a second when that is finished. All right, it is installed over here. Just a couple of seven sixteenths bolts, um, nuts. I mean, well, not in a bolt. Uh, you wrap it up along the you put it through this little thing right here, this little metal thing, and then you slide the metal thing onto the bolt. The metal thing is a little bit oversized, so it's difficult, but you can do it. And then you just tighten the nut on to hold the metal thing on, and it works great. Um, and then the line runs through and onto the back side. I was trying to get the pieces of plastic off of the end of this because they could have caused issues um, in the engine, and I ended up breaking the the uh, the piece off the end of the wire so that'll make it a little bit more difficult but uh, won't like ruin the project or anything like that so I'm not super concerned about it even though it kind of does suck um, it shouldn't have a serious effect on how the project turns out though so I'm not too concerned about that it'll just make things it'll just make installing the engine a little bit more finicky but I'm gonna tie up this uh, this line to make it you know a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so it's not just laying loose on the floorboard um i will be back in a minute actually i will be back in a minute because this is the end of this video thank you for watching you know hit the like hit the subscribe thank you for watching this whole series this is like part 12 so anyone who's watched all 12 parts uh you know big kudos to you thank you for that and bye bye